Good afternoon from the Roosterin Observatory. Uh, yesterday evening, uh, Gary asked if I could run through some time how I stream the sea star. Well, I promised that I will make a video sometime in the next couple of days. And since we are in the midst of a major winter storm, I thought now is as good a time as any to record a five minute how I stream my sea star. Uh, let's start from the very beginning. I bought a sea star from uh, High Point Scientific. Apparently they have it in stock now. I did pay a little bit less by pre-ordering it. It was $3.99 when I pre-ordered it last April. Uh, they have 10 plus available. And then uh, once I bought the sea star, I almost immediately after I received it, I went on Amazon and bought a Lenovo tablet, 8 inch, 4th generation. I paid less than that for it, actually I paid $68.99 uh, for it. So for $80, you are able to control uh, the C-Star and do a good job of it. Once I have the Lenovo tablet, go to the Google Play and uh, downloaded the app. Uh, by the way, very interesting new feature skip horizon calibration that was a royal pain that uh, added at least two minutes to getting the sea star up and running on any given evening so now i can disable it uh, once i had the app installed then i needed to get uh, two more pieces of software obs studio uh, which is free it's the open broadcaster software uh, downloaded that it allows me to uh, stream whatever it sees on the screen and my microphone uh, and I can stream it onto YouTube or Facebook or wherever I want to stream it. The only remaining piece of the puzzle is a screen copy. SCRCPY uh, which is available on GitHub. Latest version is uh, 2.3.1 which is about a month old and uh, once you download it uh, you do not need to install it, you just run it. And uh, that allows you to mirror the screen of the tablet onto the computer. There is screen copy running, uh, SCRCPY. It allows me to specify which device. I have multiple devices connected. Uh, you may have seen my videos in which I have side by side uh, Stellina, C-Star, and dwarf i use uh, one device per and by specifying the serial number of the device i can open and uh, once it's open uh, there it is that's what it looks like uh, next step here is to put the tablet in developer mode and from there into debug mode uh, going to settings uh, you go to about tablet and from about tablet, you look at the build number. If you click the build number seven times in a row, it puts you in developer mode. It says no need, you are already a developer. Uh, once you become a developer, uh, go back, system, and uh, under system, all the way down, developer options, and uh, scroll down, you get USB debugging. Enable that, and now by connecting the tablet via USB, uh, you can debug it. More importantly, uh, you can display it onto the desktop. Now it is time to uh, get the C-Star app going, but first I have the C-Star next to me. I need to turn it on. I just turned the C-Star on. We're waiting for it to come on. In the meantime, I can launch the app. Powering on, ready to connect. And that's the sweet voice of C-Star turning on. And it has connected. That is connected. I have my C-Star uh, under Wi-Fi. I have it uh, 
connected via station mode to Lady Godiva. And uh, that is how, as soon as I turn it on, it connects. I do not need to go through the Bluetooth and then uh, Wi-Fi connection. Once it is connected, I have made it a habit to go to Polaris as my very first stop. For some reason, Sea Star still mistakes its north for its south occasionally. And in my case, I have a wall on the west side, a wall and a mountain. And uh, many a time, Sea Star finds itself staring at the wall trying to plate solve it. So by uh, having it go to Polaris first, it's always my first target. Go gazing. Finding object. And it's going to look for Polaris. So this is how I stream uh, C-Star onto my uh, computer. Now one part that is missing is how do I get it on YouTube? And this is where uh, launch my YouTube, go to go live in this case, and uh, under go live, it's going to ask me for a title. Uh, this was the last thing that I streamed on 4 January. The most important thing here is the stream key. And copy stream key uh, will allow me now to uh, launch OBS Studio. And under settings of OBS Studio, I can go to stream and use stream key and I paste the key that I just got from YouTube and we're up and running. And now we go back to uh, C-Star and it found Polaris. So we are in business. Now I can go and look for any target that I want. Once it finds Polaris, it just said it failed because it's inside the bedroom with the door closed and it's snowing outside. From there I can go to any target, it becomes straightforward. So this is how I stream my C Star onto YouTube. Hope you find this video useful. Gary, thanks for the tip. Uh, we'll see you later when it stops snowing. So long.